question is, do rats eat oranges? And just in case it all goes pixely, which it quite often does, and I don't really know why, I'm going to show you the answer now. Yes, they do. <laughs> Often people think, oh, you live in a yurt, and um, it's quite a sort of romantic thing. When we moved here, th where we actually are was a great big bramble bush. We cleared the way. We moved in with the creatures, and now we live with them. Not really so much the other way around, although sometimes it can, I know I do think about it in that way. So it's not just birds and butterflies, it's rats and ticks as well. And last night I was woken up by a rat stealing <laughs> this orange. <laughs> They're very, very clever, very, very persistent, very, very quick like that. <sighs> Sometimes it can be really challenging. This was at one o'clock in the morning and I've been awake ever since then. I once saw this post. It was about this ancient, ancient Japanese man, like hundred and something, and he was considered by his community to be the happiest man. And when he was asked what he put his happiness down to, he said it was the Zing Zing Ming Sutra. It's the translation is the Faith Mind Sutra. I was so impressed by this that I wrote the whole thing out. It's several pages, all in coloured sentences, so I can kind of see them. And uh, the first sentence is, the great way is not difficult for those who have no preferences. <laughs> and I also have here another of my favourite books, Love Letter to Earth. By Thich Nhat Hanh, Vietnamese Buddhist monk, and he's talking about the the virtues that Earth has. He lists several, and the third one he says non discrimination is a virtue that Earth has. It doesn't judge. It doesn't separate and say yes and no. It just accepts all. And so. In these two great literatures, and in many others I know through time, there's this um, theme of, I mean, basically, we're the ones who say good, bad, right, wrong, like, don't like, and through that, create our world. And so last night, when this rat at one o'clock woke me up, I did think, as I always do, because it's not the first time. But then in the end, I actually had a really amazing night. All sorts of magical things happened. The moon was bright. The light was golden, reflecting off the trees. And I did a lot of writing and it really was a quite magical, magical time. And suddenly the annoying rat was actually a complete gift. Whew. So yes, this non-discrimination in all these great things, it seems to be the way forwards. And yet it often seems so very difficult, doesn't it? Are there ways in which you notice that you judge good, bad, right, wrong, like, don't like, and realize that you're creating your world through this? And could it be different? So that's my thought for the day. I don't know if it's gone pixelated, hopefully not. Um, see you soon. <laughs>